Hello, yes, Donald Trump is the target of the attack. You see, Donald Trump, like I've said before, is not a white nationalist, but he can bring change our enemies don't want, right? It's the same with you, Kip. They're not white nationalists, but they can bring change. They can uh, radicalize in the, in the true sense. I don't mean the Nick Griffin radicalization. They can radicalize our people to think differently and to go out and vote and change things. Right, and change brings more change. But anyway, like I've said, Donald Trump is a threat to our enemies because he can bring change, right? And um, those opposed to us and our movement and our, our views also are also opposed to Trump because like I've said, he, they view Trump that will lead to, you know, the next stage, which is full-blown white nationalism. Like they see UKIP as a stepping stone to white nationalism. That's right, yeah. So... Trump has to go. So what's happening here in America? The Southern Poverty Law Center, Anti-Defamation League, or the Benai Brith, or the FBI? I don't know. I literally do not know, but it's someone, or maybe all of them. What they've done, they've mobilized their agents um, that are leading the so-called alternatives of right with Richard Spencer, Matthew Heinbach, Nathan D'Amigo, uh, Jason Kessler, or whoever, whoever. They have mobilized them to cause so much chaos, violence, Sikh hiling, neo-Nazism, KKK, white supremacy, hail Trump! Remember Richard Spencer and the old stars at Sikh hiling? They have created such a stink which they want to rub off on Donald Trump, which then in turn puts Trump in a lot of hot water, doesn't it? Which it has done. That's caused them immense problems by the uh, Charlottesville uh, violence and riots and whatever that's caused them immense problems and that's what they want to do and also what they're also doing the agents that are now leading the so-called alternative right they are in, they are empowering the so-called anti-racist movement which is growing by the day because of the so-called alt-right right and the so-called anti-racist movement will then be turned into a mass movement against donald trump of course because it's all going to rub off on trump which is what the enemies of america and western civilization want that's what they want anyway there's a link below national geographic and it's very telling when you're watching it firstly where have all these young males came from all of a sudden you've got all these young able-bodied young men where they all came from? Exactly. Also, you've got certain so-called alt-right leaders talking about biological differences of the races. Public doesn't give a toss. White homeland, they think you're screwballs. Uh, women, you know, should stay at home and be mothers again, putting another hurdle in front of us. Uh, they're also chanting, Jews will not replace us. I wonder what the American people made of that. Again, you're not putting a hurdle in front of you, you're putting 20 hurdles, 100 hurdles, once you start talking about the Scooby-Doo's, right? So, it's all to the detriment of our movement going forward, isn't it? There's also some clown, the interview with Flesh Tunnels, supposed to be on the alternative right, talking about... Um, traditional this and traditional that and keeping america white and all this well didn't anyone point out to him that what you're doing to your ears is not part of western traditional culture but the complete opposite you know weird but he was given uh time on the camera of course because he looks weird because he is weird probably another one of the enemy you see where have all these young men came from? where have they all just appeared from haven't you noticed all these able-bodied up for a fight men, they've just appeared out the blue, hundreds of them, thousands of them, and it's our enemy mobilising its full strength, because it must be, from every state or whatever it is in America, uh, region, uh, they're, they're sending down their agents, you know, that's what they're doing, and listen, listen, trust me, right, the money that's out there, our enemies can buy whatever they want. They can have thousands working for them if they want. Trust me, they can. They can have a hundred from each state around America quite easily, right? Like they could do here. In fact, there's something like 40 odd thousand informants, uh, informant uh, on uh, criminals for the police in Britain. 40 odd thousand, right? You know, so that shows you that the numbers are out there if they need them. 
right? So don't anyone be put, oh, he's saying everyone's a spy again. I'm not. I'm not saying everyone's a spy. I'm just saying most of those uh, in the alternative, right, in America are, without a doubt. There's others that are just, I don't know, just incapable of change and don't understand the real world and how, what makes people tick. And going on about biological differences of the races and um, uh, uh, Jews will not replace us and women staying at home and all that. Christ, uh, that's not taking us anywhere. That's setting us back. So Trump's the target of the attack here because the antics of the alt-right and the agents for the Southern Poverty Law Centre, let's say, that are running it, Richard Spencer and go, they're there to galvanise the left, to give the left momentum, which is then going to be, to the anti-racist movement, is then going to be turned into anti, uh, a mass anti-Trump movement to get Trump out. It's Trump they want out, right? So don't be fooled by all what you're seeing and all these young men marching. That's very telling. Where they all came from? With the shields and runic crosses and shouting silly Jews will not replace us. What does that mean? Well, exactly. You've got to start waking up and see what's happening here. And I'll just diversify. There's an article on the Occidental Observer. Jack Sen attacking Anne-Marie Waters. And this is what the spies do. They attack one another. One will out another one. Like Julie Lake. She outs Jack Sen. And now Jack Sen's out Anne-Marie Waters. And all three of them are snitches for the States. Or whoever it is they work for. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. So don't be fooled. I know Nick Griffin's fooled by But he's always been fooled. I don't need that for Nick. So what can you do? What can you say about him? But anyway. This is what's happening. Donald Trump is the target of the attack. Okay. Thank you.